I was in Israel just one year ago. Yet, I didn't have the opportunity to see Nazareth. This is the Church of the Annunciation. It is fabled that Mary conceived Jesus here. This is the home of Mary. Nazareth Village is located nearby and it is an excellent way of seeing what life was like thousands of years ago. My grandfather was a shepherd in Greece, and his life was not much different than this. Jesus was entombed in a place much like this. Such tombs were for the noblemen. Our guide is showing us a first century wine press. He showed us how the shapes of the rocks made it conducive to pressing grapes by foot and collecting wine in a cistern. Olive trees were so very important to the early settlers here. Due to the hilliness of the area, crops were cultivated on steps. That need cold weather and they need lots of water. That's why we planted here. This is an example of an early grist mill. This setup illustrates how olives were pressed to make olive oil. As you may know, Jesus was a carpenter. This man shows what tools existed and what they were used for. This is a replica of a first century synagogue.
We also came to Israel to pay our respects to Eli, who died one year ago. So Mark and I are walking in the Makaye, Makaye? Makane Yehuda. Yehuda. This is the market uh, in Jerusalem off of uh, Jaffa Street. There's tons of stuff. You can hopefully see some of it in the background here. I'll show you. Tons of pastries. There's some liquor store. They sell, actually, they sell quite a bit of scotch. Some olives there. Lots of spices. A lot of spices from the Middle East out here, of course. Uh, tons of fruits and vegetables. This would be a this would be a, 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 a perfect market for the locals to get their to, to get their groceries uh, because they have uh, all the fresh fish and, and breads and, and all kinds of things in here. In fact, we stopped in here and had a, a coffee at a at a cafe. There's a bar in there as well. So there's uh, it's it's quite a a beautiful market and it extends from this street behind us up that way, maybe about two city blocks to Jaffa Street. These are beautiful Sephardic tours. Ofra's friend took us up to one of his offices that overlooks much of downtown Jerusalem. You don't have to walk very far without seeing one of these fresh juice stands. They're everywhere in Israel. Zig's cousin Vicky takes us behind the scenes in the old city. She lives just about 20 minutes from here and knows every inch of Jerusalem. This is the old train station, which now has many great restaurants and shops. In fact, Vicky doesn't live far from here. She loves the desert, and you can see why. The dramatic landscapes lead to the Dead Sea, just past those distant mountains. Here we are visiting what is called a Han. It is a house, basically for a guest house, but uh, when during like the silk, uh, like the silk road type of thing where people were traveling very long distances from place to place, they need a place to, 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 to sleep, to eat, you know, to cook, that kind of thing. So this is one of them, it's an Israeli one. I'll show you around a little bit. And, but this is a, a rather beautiful one. So you see that they have, um, obviously you can see they have outdoor furniture. They have cabinets for uh, like a pantry and, and other items 
that you can use in, in the Han. I mean, look at the size of the refrigerator. It's a, it's a full-size refrigerator. Uh, the sink, soap, I mean, everything's clean. <laughs> It's, of course, we're outside, we're outside, so, but everything works. I mean, here, you know, they have a, a gas stove, and uh, they have a sign here. It's like, you know, hey, when you're done, clean up, that kind of thing. Let's go to, take a look inside. I'll show you the inside. So this is where you make the tea, and we had our tea right there. And again, it's, it's lovely. So you, could, you could sleep, you can gra grab a, a little mat and, 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 and sleep here. It's a, it's a beautiful room. Yeah, it's called a Han. And uh, it's typically known as a, a traveler's guest house. Is that not something? Is that not something? The Western Wall is arguably the most religious place on earth. Day or night, this place is teeming with believers and worshipers. Jerusalem has so much to offer, from the ancient shops in the old city to five-star hotels and exquisite galleries. Tel Aviv offers stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea. You will see many surfers trying to up their game. While the rest of us stop at the endless cafes and restaurants and try to imagine a more beautiful sunset. 